Hi, this is Jeff Lesher with What's the Point? And the point this week focuses on a couple of issues very much related to leaders and leadership, especially during this time of uncertainty caused by the ongoing pandemic. The driver of this is ego, ego of leaders that ultimately does not help them accomplish what they're committed to doing. And, and I believe in my experience, deeply committed to doing and doing as much through enabling others that they've entrusted with carrying the mission of the organization forward, turning the idea of impact into the reality of that. And they become their own worst enemy. And often because ego is this combination of complementary and not in a good way factors. One is supreme confidence, the audacity to go out and try stuff that nobody else has done or done in a particular way or in taking on competition that everybody says you can't overtake. And you do because of that audacity, the audacity of ego. That would be good. It's good ego. And then there are a couple of dimensions of ego that aren't so good. One is fragility. I mean, it's ego covering up for the fact that we doubt, that we're fearful, that we maybe have experienced rejection or disrespect in the past, and we need to in insulate ourselves from that, and we use our ego to do that. And that's not even the worst kind. The worst kind is not being consistent with your word, saying one thing, which in the moment that it's said, leaders typically believe, which is, I don't need to be directly involved in this. I want you to step into this space and take the idea and run with it. I want you to create a team. I want you to find a path for us to move forward. I trust you to do it. I'm setting the direction. I'm providing the inspiration. I'm making the resources available, and I need you to bring it to fruition. Uh, uh, but not that way, uh, uh, but not quite on that schedule, but uh, not necessarily in that order. All of which could be true, but if that overstep, which is what it fundamentally is, that retrenchment, that retreat, that pivot from what you just said, the consequence of that becomes uncertainty of the worst order. So in our businesses, and especially now, we're dealing with a lot of things that we can't control. So we wanna focus on the things that we can or that give us the greatest opportunity for influence. And the problem is, is that when uncertainty within the organization becomes an even bigger factor or consideration than the uncertainty of the world, we are doomed to frustration and the failure that most certainly will follow. So if you grant permission for people to do something on behalf of the organization and you set it up properly so that there are reasonable parameters and there are some measures of progress and success, then remove yourself and respect the process. Do not jump in midway. Do not add to the list of criteria unless absolutely necessary and hold yourself to an exceedingly high standard to what absolutely necessary means, which is not that you feel a little bit uncomfortable or you're experiencing separation anxiety but because there's a real opportunity being missed or there's real danger or blind spot that needs to be addressed. Leaders, just like the rest of us, they're good, well-intentioned people. But taking a line from the movie of years ago, Top Gun, a movie with a particular place in my heart because it was one of the first dates that I went on with my wife to see the movie when it was in theaters, there's a great line in that movie, which is, your ego is writing checks that your body can't cash. And what's ironic is that leaders who fall into this discord between their outsized confidence slash audacity that helps them to be successful and the fear of failure and fragility that they feel and the need to be the center of attention to jump back into the very fray that they're trying to clear out of the way of their people and the organization that they bring to life, that those things, in fact, create the impossibility of cashing 
the very check that their ego is wanting to write for good outcome. Trust your people or get new people. Trust your process or come up with another process. And don't be seen as somebody who says one thing and then does another. If I can't count on you, I can't count on anything. And if leaders want their organizations to be best positioned for success, they need to be consistent and they need to trust. They can't afford for their egos to write checks that their businesses can't cash. That's the point.